Well, hello and welcome back. Destination Venus here under the stairs at Harrogate's fabulous Everyman Cinema. It is Wednesday, which means it is time for Reggie's Roundup of what is on the rack. The rack is here behind me, and what a fantastic rack it is. Still not completely finished, still some of the old plastic support things, and clearly a bit of the floor of the design of what I'm replacing them with. So, you know, bear with us while we continue to make your store even better. But what is on the rack? Well, we start with our first number one. It's actually our first comic. This is a one-shot. It is Adam's Family, The Bodies issue. Um, basically, Wednesday Adams has always found it hard to fit in. And then she finds a magazine, a fashion magazine, which suggests to her that she does not look the way society expects her to look. Now, for some people, this might cause a problem, but Wednesday, it becomes a problem for everybody else because Wednesday decides it would not only be easier but significantly more fun to simply explain to the rest of the world why it's wrong about the way women should appear. And uh, I would like to say hilarity ensues, but it involves death and stuff. It's very cartoony, it's very funny, uh, and it is exactly what Wednesday Adams should be doing. Then we have Batman, the adventures continue, and they do because we are in issue seven of that continuation of Batman the Animated Series. Uh, then we have more Batman, uh, The Brave and the Bold, it's issue four of this prestige format limited series. Uh, then we have Batman Beyond, Neo-Gothic issue two, and Blade Runner 2023, 20, 20, 20, 2039 even, must get my dates right. Uh, that's hitting issue six. Uh, Creed, the next round, which you may not be able to see on camera there, but trust me, it's here. Uh, the official sequel to Creed 3, so I guess that makes it Creed 4, really, uh, as Creed's daughter continues her attempts to become taken seriously as a boxer. Uh, Captain America, the finale. I bet it's not. There's going to be more Captain America after this. Uh, this is wrapping up the current run of Captain America. I'm not entirely sure where we are, where we are with it, to be honest. It's all got a bit confusing. I really do need to catch up on my Captain America. Uh, then DC Ruby uh, hits its seventh and final issue, at least for now. Uh, the Bird of Lucky continues. Deadpool hits issue 10. Uh, the Unstoppable Doom Patrol are on issue 5. Uh, there's more Earth Divers. Uh, the Fantastic Four Annual continues the Contest of Chaos. Uh, Fence hits issue 3 of its current run. The Ice Cream Man continues. Uh, throwback to Animosity issue 1 or 2, I think, with a blue whale reaching on the cover. Uh, then the Indigo Children hit, uh, hitting issue 6, the Invincible Iron Man hits issue 9, and we have another issue 1. This is G Grey, part of the Fall of X. Can I just pause for a moment to really appreciate the unutterably gorgeous cover that they've given this? How beautiful is that? Throw in the fact that we have X Men writing legend Louise Simonson returning to script duties to tell you a whole new story about Jean Grey. If you love the X-Men, you need to read this. It really is that simple. Uh, then King Kong continues his Great War and click click boom, it's issue three. Uh, Newburn continues its run, hitting issue ten now. This is kind of like the second run of Newburn, but keeping its original numbering in a move that I salute Zadarsky and Phillips for forever. Uh, no one continues, but it's no one. What are you going to do? Uh, the Penguin gets his new miniseries. This is a whole new version of the Penguin. I like what they've done with the character here. Uh, if you were not paying attention to Batman, the Penguin has faked his own death. He's framed Batman for the murder. That caused some issues, I have to say. And now he's off. His two kids are running the Iceberg Lounge and running the Gotham crime stuff. The Penguin just wants a quiet life. But he's the Penguin. How's that going to work out? And if you missed... If you missed the run-up to this, you don't need to worry because you don't need to be thinking, oh no, I need to read loads of Batman comics to catch up and, and understand what's going on. They very neatly reprinted everything you need to know in the Penguin Issue Zero. So, you know, that was out last week. If you want to partake of Tom King's latest run, and Tom King has proved himself 
to be one of the greatest writers in the Batman universe. If you want to partake of Tom King's run, that this is your opportunity. Start here. And with that, we're going to wrap up part one. Uh, we'll be back very shortly with part two of Reggie's Roundup. Until we're back, uh, we're available uh, online at uh, www.destinationvenus.co.uk. The website does need a little bit of updating. You can always contact us, info at destinationvenus.co.uk. If there's anything you need that you can't find on the website, or you can always come down and see us under the stairs at the Everyman Cinema. We are here Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday between 1 pm and 5 30 pm, and Saturdays 11 am until 5 30 pm. Come down and see us, say hello, have a chat. We always love to see you. Until we do, be kind to yourself, be kind to everybody else, and above all else, love comes. We'll see you soon.